everybody. I hope y'all are doing awesome. Today, I'm going to go over my tips and tricks on making the most of your small space in your RV and some organization stuff. Keep watching. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our This adventure. is our adventures. Everybody is doing great this year so far. We're getting ready to head to Steamboat next week. I'm so excited. And you know what? It's projected that we're going to hit a thousand subscribers while we're in Steamboat. How cool is that? Please hit that subscribe button because we're going to have some special giveaways once we hit that thousand mark. Today, on this video, I just kind of wanted to go over a few things about organization because there is so many people buying new RVs and so many people looking up how to get their organized. And if you haven't watched it already, go watch my Dollar Tree organization. That is some cheap ways to get your camper organized to get started. In a small space, everything needs to have a place because if you don't, it can get chaotic fast and it can close in on you. But if everything has a place and everything is organized and you put up everything in its place when you're done with it, it will help you feel more accomplished, make your space feel bigger, and it just makes everything flow so much easier. I know like we live in this during the hunting season and it gets kind of crazy sometimes and I just have to run around and pick everything up and put it back in its place every just a little bit. Because if it starts getting out of hand, it can turn into a big snowball and turn into a nightmare for you. And then it'll take longer. So literally, if you could take, I take two or three minutes a few times a day just to kind of put things back where they're going. And that helps so much. Now... I feel like people forget you go and you're organizing everything and you're getting everything in its place when you first buy your camper and you forget that you have stuff that you have to put up on moving day. So let's say you might have some cabinets that when you're sitting around have nothing in them, but you're going to need those cabinets for moving day. It's or even drawers for moving day. People forget about, especially new RVers, you think, okay, I want this to go there and this to go there, but then you set out your coffee pot and then you set out on um, your pillows and your pitchers and I have like, we have our sugar and our plates and all that stuff sits out when we're not moving. But when we have to pack up and leave, we have to put that stuff somewhere. And people sometimes will fill up all their cabinets and then you're like, what am I going to do with all this when we leave? It's very important, very important to make sure that when you are organizing a cabinet, you leave places for things to go on moving day. They won't be there during, you know, while you're stationary, but when you're moving, you got to have a place to secure things. Now, to maximize storage in an RV, if you can get anything that stacks, collapses, nest inside of each other, those things maximize your space because they take up a lot less room. So to maximize that space that you have, those are the things that you want. So if it's something like a laundry basket, I, ours, it collapses down and it goes up under the bed when it's not in use and it takes up not much space. We have a collapsible colander. So it, when it goes in the drawer, it's small. All of my cups and stuff nest so that way they go inside of each other and when they're in their place then they take up less space. So those are things that you really want to concentrate on. Now when you're organizing your RV remember it's trial and error. You It may be something that I love in a certain spot but you hate it there. So don't don't beat yourself up and don't like stress over where you put stuff, especially in the beginning, because you will move it. 
I have moved stuff around in here over the last three years, I bet you 20 or 30 times. There's some things that's had like two or three homes each. So don't stress over it. Try it out for a, a, a weekend. See if that worked for you. If it didn't, then just find another place and move it to there and try it there. Trial and error is the only way on organization to make things work. I, I feel if you feel like you're going to be perfect to start with, that's just not going to happen. So be flexible and, and move things around and know that, that it can be moved. It's not permanent. Now, this goes back to travel days. When you're traveling, you want to try to pack things as tightly as you can to keep them from moving around. Tension rods are some of your best friends. And anything that I mentioned that I can link, I'm going to put it in the description box and link it for you to our Amazon page just so that if you want to buy it, you can find it real quick. Tension rods. They make tension rods in all different lengths and sizes and I have them in all my cabinets. I have a lot of stuff like locked in with those. And the tension rods are probably some of the best things that you can do to lock stuff in. But you really want to make sure on travel days, things are as tight as you can get them to keep them from moving around because once it gets an inch, it takes a mile and you might have like a cabinet door open and things are laying on the floor. And it might even be something you think, oh, that's not going to move, but it can. Now, when you talk about organization, you don't think of your refrigerator very much. The refrigerator needs to be really organized. So make sure, and people don't think about this either, I put all kinds of baskets and everything in my refrigerator. And then I put like the cheese in one, meat in one, and just, and like drinks, canned drinks. I buy those little things that you stick in there and they stack up. Because if you don't, those things can turn into bullets. I know <laughs> we've had the refrigerator door pop open Maybe we didn't close it all the way and then had stuff scattered, which it can happen. You just got to make sure it's pushed closed. But that's the best thing for organization in the refrigerator. And it keeps things from moving around when you're traveling, like an earthquake moving down the road and things are just going to get all displaced. But if you can put them in the refrigerator and put them in baskets, that'll keep things tighter so that that way they don't move. Another thing that's your really good friend, not just the tension rods, is bungee cords. You can bungee stuff to everything. Like our um, trash can is bungeed to the cabinet. So on travel days, I don't have to think about, oh, where do I need to put the garbage can? Because it's bungeed in and I don't have to worry about it coming off. It's there. And I added, because I didn't want like the ugly, uh, not that it's ugly. <laughs> I didn't want like the cord laying around it. So I just made like a little tube out of some fabric and covered our bungee cord just to kind of make it pretty and make it look a little better. Now, in an RV, you cannot have enough command hooks or just hooks to hang things on. That again, helps everything have its place. You want a place when you come in that you can put your keys. We have dogs, so we have a place to put the dog leashes. We have a place to put our coats. Those are all command hooks and stuff, and you can't have enough of those because just having a place to hang it, having a place gets it out of the way and makes you feel like you have more space. In the bathroom, we have a bunch of command hooks that you can put towels on, bathing suits on. Um, I even added one of those little lines that you can uh, put the um, like bathing suits and stuff, hang them on to dry and everything in there. I even have the over the door hanger on the back of the door in the bedroom that I hang hats on to get them out of the way where you can't see them. And I have a ton of extra hangers in the master bedroom as well. Now, you have to have a drunk drawer. If you don't have a drunk drawer, then it's all going to end up laying on the counter or be all over the place. So get you a junk drawer and organize that junk drawer. Make sure everything has a place. In a camper, you do want to have, like in here, like you want to have a screwdriver. You want to have a flashlight because a flashlight, and actually we have one of those cheap headlamps. It's super cheap. You want that so that like if something happens in the middle of the night and you need a light quick, you can throw it on and you can still have your hands. 
like a junk drawer is good like it has some screws you want to keep like maybe some extra bulbs or anything in there that you can grab pretty quick our junk drawer has like fingernail clippers in it um like the little push pins for our uh, our map oh and if you hadn't watched the map video watch that too we just have a lot of our little junk drawer has got little organizers. I bought them at the, the Dollar Tree and put the little organizers in there and it's got little places for all kinds of different things. So don't think, oh, I don't want a junk drawer. You want a junk drawer, but you want an organized junk drawer. Now, another thing that I feel like you need is movable storage. Um, I have an ottoman that I made so that when on travel days, I can fill it up with all kinds of things and I'm not using up my cabinets for travel day. I pack my, the pillow off the couch goes in there, my blankets go in there, all my pictures that are movable go in there. So that way, I'm not taking up any other storage, a dual purpose item for things in it. And on top of that, you can, um, put your feet on it or use it as a seat or whatever. And then I have two other movable storage items, one at the end of the island here that we keep the dog toys in and then just like miscellaneous stuff in there. And then I have another one over by my uh, desk that we keep our slippers in when we come in. And then I have a pair of binoculars because like you don't realize in a camper, Sometimes you want binoculars because you go to some cool places and you're like looking and you're like, what is that? And you just grab up the binoculars and see. So I have my binoculars like right there where you can grab them. I have other extra storage things, but most everything I have it stuck down with museum putty. My lamps are museum putty down so I don't have to move them. That museum putty stuff is the best stuff ever. But I have like some knickknacks in the bedroom that are stuck down with the museum putty too. A big place that I've organized that I really love is up under my sink. I have so much room for all kinds of stuff under there. Because when we got this, it was just a big open area. And I ordered a couple of shelves and a baskets off of Amazon that like fit in there. Perfect. I have a lot of stuff in there. Up, up under the sink here, I've got these shelves and they're adjustable so they could be even bigger or longer or even shorter if you wanted because you could put in a couple of these baskets with the shelves or you can make this bigger and you don't even have to have that. I just wanted the drawer to put like my towels and stuff in. But yeah, and I've got everything is, and this shelf has like on the back, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it stops so nothing can fall off the back of the shelves. I love these shelves. They fit perfect. I even put this up under my sink in the house because I love this so much and set it up like this. Another great place to store things on moving day is the sink. What I do is I put in my drying mat in the bottom of the sink so nothing scratches up the sink. And then I just lay the paper towels and, the, and a bunch of different things and lay them in the sink and they don't come out. I don't have any problems with them jumping out of the sink. But the sink is a great place to store stuff while you're moving on moving day. Well, I hope you liked this short video on all my organization tips and everything. I wanna welcome all our new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. That means a lot to us. And we are getting so close to that thousand. I can't promise that we're gonna have a video next Friday because we'll be in Steamboat and I really won't have time to put together a video <laughs> for that week. But then starting the next week, we will start the series of us being in Steamboat. So we'll have a travel video. After that, we're gonna have the series. We're gonna have the bedroom remodel series. I'm going to ahead and start working on that now and recording things, but I'm going to wait till after we get back from Steamboat to really get into it. And then I'm not going to post the videos until after the Steamboats, all the Steamboat videos. Can't talk. Thanks for everybody. And I hope y'all are enjoying the Two Cents Tuesdays. Check them out. Till next time, like and subscribe.